social matchmaking update to the MCC along with a dodge ban update as well. Stay tuned throughout the entire video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news update when it comes to the MCC here. If you like these kind of videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out the channel and video. If you're new to the channel and want to stay up to date with anything Halo related like Halo Infinite, Halo 5, anything else in between right there, make sure to tap subscribe with the bell because we all know sub feeds can be kind of weird or times so let's get right into the news here this week's playlist update for the mcc mainly focused on halo combat evolved by bringing the mayhem and community inspired collections of a chaotic 8v8 modes into social matchmaking also in addition the change is the temporary removal of two maps from the halo force eva options based on some player feedback and so let's get right into the details here one is the enable the action sack category for halo combat evolved in eva game size is game sizes in social matchmaking for mayhem game types i've added mayhem slayer which is like 250 kill big team battle slayer but they're on tiny maps like battle creek rat race hang em high and they're like along along with longest as well which is going to be like i said complete total mayhem here uh, they also added one flag siege with a two minute offense and five captures to win when it comes to the battle creek play map right there uh, they also added two flag ctf when it comes to hang em high added static king of the hill for battle creek which that's going to be insane for sure and added moving king king of the hill for damnation rat race and derelict as well on top of that removing forge variants of panic station and uh, excavation for halo 4 slayer and ctf categories in the big team battle playlist now ce can already kind of play rather chaotic with just four players on the map i can with eight players on the map as a whole i can only imagine what it's like with 16 players on this map like battle creek or even longest even uh, we're definitely gonna have to get some gameplay on that and show you guys what that's like because it's going to be literal insanity i'm sure so we might do like a live cut commentary for you guys on that one and also uh, but i think also adding some big team battle when it comes to hang em high i think should be an interesting play as well since hang em high it's a rather large map and with a projectile pistol in ce it hopefully will be okay obviously these modes are not really intended to be like true skill based gameplay it's really just kind of hop in instant action as you spawn constant explosions and literal mayhem chaos and removing the so a couple of halo 4 maps from big team battle doesn't really bother me because i don't really play halo 4 so there's that right there if you guys watched my tier list video that i put out recently you probably know why i don't play a lot of halo 4. now with the recent ui update when it comes to the mcc and that you're able to see who you're playing against what map you're playing on the game mode and everything which is great i do love having that information before playing but that also leads to some people dodging game modes because they get the map they don't want play against the people they don't want but game modes they don't like either anything in that kind of realm that's kind of why they didn't have that in the first place to avoid people dodging but then they add that in which you know as a player who likes to know what they're getting themselves into before the match starts great for me but it also gives people who just want to dodge the ability to do so and so there's been recently an issue with that but now 343 has figured out how to ban those people for dodging matches. Now, players who dodge a match before it starts in the middle of the load screen will receive quit bans to the appropriate amount. Uh, but the problem is that there are two different kind of issues when it comes to doing this style of banning system because they already have a system in place and they try to make it work for what they have at the moment right now. Uh, basically, I'll, I'll read it out here so you guys, so I try to ease off any confusions here. So first, if there's if the match you dodge out of hasn't finished, there's a scenarios where you can still search and find new matches and complete it before receiving a ban. This is due to the ban system waiting for the match to end in order to check the missing players and ban accordingly. The second one is that the rule which allows a player to quit without a penalty after half your team has quit is based off the number of users who are present when the game starts rather than when the game is formed. This means that if a user quits from the loading screen, the next two players who quit from that player's team will, will, will receive ban, quit bans as well. The team is investigating ways to resolve this 
and will update the future in the future fix basically so like i'm saying we'll just reiterate on that one so basically if you jump into a match someone dodges before the match starts that means you're in a 3 v 4 game but the problem is though that you have to make sure that you are less than 50 percent full of a team before you can qu so you can quit without getting a ban that means so then if you're a 3v4 and you quit on the three player side you get a quit ban and if there's only two players left on your team compared to their four and one player quits that player also gets a quit ban because that means there was 66 percent left of the lobby rather than uh, for your team rather than 50 percent and so like i said they're looking to implement a fix for that just right now they just want to get something out real quick just so then people will stop hopefully dodging matches and will actually play the game hopefully obviously this ban system is a little bit of work in progress when it comes to adding and dodging bans as well but hopefully 343 is able to figure this out within a decent amount of time here and so that's gonna be it for a quick little update here for the mcc nothing too much uh, we're still keeping an eye close ear to the ground when it comes to the flighting program for the mcc on pc and also the uh, general mcc updates as well so if you want to stay up to date with anything involved with that please make sure to tap subscribe with the bell keep you guys notified when anytime we do anything leave a comment down below what you guys thoughts are on this update here just real quick kind of thing let me know if you guys had a chance to jump into the ce playlist as at all uh i might have to check that out just because i feel like it'd be just total ridiculous and kind of fun at the same time kind of thing and if you guys are new to the channel or miss any content from me please make sure to tap subscribe well as well if you miss any videos from me check out the videos on the screen right now and i'll catch you all in the next video peace out